in this practice, we'll be hooking our thumbs as a way to engage the shoulders as you pull the hands away from each other with a nice spread to the fingers. You'll notice how this tones your shoulders and arms. You'll enjoy this as a nice wake up and good morning practice. We'll begin seated. In your seated position, hook your thumbs. Now hook your thumbs the opposite way that you might be drawn to. Spread your fingers, draw your hands away from each other. Notice with the elbows bent how you feel like you engage so fully. From here, take your hands up, keep your elbows bent, reach over to one side, back to center, keep pulling the fingers away from each other with a strong hooking action of your thumbs, draw over to the opposite side, back to center, now reach forward, keep spreading your fingers, reach your arms forward to come to a forward fold, inhale and rise up, Release your hands, come to tabletop position. In tabletop position, step your right foot right between your hands. Place your hands right to your right knee. Hook your fingers again, spread your fingers with the elbows bent. Reach your heart up, reach your hands slightly back so you get a nice back bending action. Release your hands down to the mat. Come to tabletop position again with your left foot forward. Take your hands right above your left knee and hook your thumbs the opposite way. Spread your fingers, open your chest, reach back. Release your hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Admire the spread to the fingers. Get the wrist creases parallel to the front edge of the mat. Lift yourself up. And as you allow your head to release, feel a nice elongation in the spine. You can pedal your legs to just get a little bit more awareness to the legs. Walk your hands now back to your feet. So you're at the very back edge of the mat. Place your hands right above your knees. Straighten your arms. Draw your heart forward and lift your chin. Now draw from the navel back to the spine. Draw your chin down toward your chest. Inhale. Draw your heart forward. Exhale. Just feel the tailbone kind of scooping itself down toward the earth. One more. Inhale. Just get the spine to move nicely. Exhale. Now hook your thumbs, spread your fingers as if you're going to take a dive. Draw your pelvis down, root down to rise up, release your hands and step to the top of the mat. Inhale, hook your thumbs with the fingers spread with the elbows bent. Take your gaze up, take your hands back. Exhale, come down to the earth. Take your hands behind you, same thing. Hook your thumbs, bend your knees, slight bend to the elbows, release your head. Now release your hooked thumbs to take your hands alongside your ankles and step your right leg back. Bring your right knee down. Take your hands right to the top of the knee and just pulse into the pose. Just draw down, lift up, draw down. 
lift up and draw down to a deeper lunge hook your thumbs spread your fingers reach your gaze up balance yourself as you reach your fingers back release your hands down step back to a tabletop position draw your pelvis back put a little bit more weight on your heels as you release your head find fullness in your back body come to tabletop position again lower yourself down toward the earth onto the earth now hook your thumbs behind you spread your fingers with a nice bend to the elbows inhale rise up exhale soften inhale lift up exhale soften one more inhale lift up exhale soften place your hands alongside your ribs to come back to tabletop position step your right foot right between your hands place your hands right above your knee and just pulse into a deeper form of the lunge pull yourself out and draw deeper lift up and draw deeper hook your thumbs bend your elbows spread your fingers take your gaze up take your hands back open your chest really nicely exhale release your hands down step your back foot forward place both hands to your low back rise up stand in tadasana nice and tall with your thumbs reaching back your fingers spread to tone and engage the fullness of your arms from your fingertips to your shoulders with brightness in your eyes inhale take your arms up hook your thumbs the opposite way that you've been doing reach your gaze up reach your hands back exhale come down in a forward fold with your knees bent and hook your hands behind your back spread your fingers as you reach your interlaced fingers up toward the sky release your hands down to the mat step your left foot back bring your left knee down to the earth with your right hand to your low back twist turn your heart toward your inner right knee your option you can tuck your back toes under for a high lunge you can reach your right arm up to get a nice opening in the chest and take your right hand over your head nice fullness in the pose release your hand down to the mat step yourself back to all fours or downward facing dog come forward with your shoulders forward of your fingertips whether you're in tabletop or downward facing dog lower yourself to the mat hook your thumbs reach back lift up soften down spread your fingers with the thumbs hooked as you rise up exhale soften inhale reach your fingers back as you lift up exhale soften place your hands alongside your ribs come to all fours position either stay there or lift up and downward facing dog step your left foot right between your hands 
Bring your back knee down. Take your left hand to your low back. Twist toward your left inner knee. Your option, you can tuck your toes under and lift your back knee up if you wish or keep it down. Reach your left arm up with fullness in the area of the heart. Reach your arm over your head. Enjoy your breath here. Find this fullness to the side body. Release your hand down to the mat. Step your back foot forward. Place both hands to the low back and rise up. Now come to a wide leg stance with your feet nice and wide apart. Draw your right toes out. Ensure that you have a nice line up between the front heel and the back arch. Bend your knee. Take your hands behind your back. Hook the thumbs. Reach the interlace fingers away from the low back with the elbows slightly bent. Draw your heart down toward the inner right knee as you reach your hands up. Keep a nice ease to your breath, a nice engagement to your arms, a spread to your fingers, and an anchored quality to your back leg. So you can trust in the strength of the back leg to help lift you up out of the pose. Release your hands. Turn your left toes out. Line up the left heel with the back arch. Hook your thumbs the opposite way that you did last time. Spread your fingers, bend your front knee, draw your heart down toward your inner knee. Soften. Keep a nice ease to your breath, but yet a very strengthening quality, both to the legs and to the engagement of the arms. As you soften deeper, can you lift your arms up just a little bit more? Root down to inhale and lift yourself up. Release your hands, parallel your feet, and we'll do a version of Prasarita Padachanasana with the legs hugging in very fully. Take the hands behind you, hook the thumbs again, spread your fingers, bend your elbows slightly, bend your knees slightly, take the tops of the thighs back and come to a forward fold. Just release your head. You might wanna nod it yes and shake it no as a way to release it more fully. Now slowly bend your right knee as you bring your heart closer to the inner right knee. Straighten your right leg and bend your left and bring your heart just a little bit closer to that inner left leg. Come back to the center position. Reach your hooked thumbs just a little bit further up toward the sky and release your hands down to the mat. Heel toe your feet in toward each other. With your feet hip distance apart, bend your knees, place your hands right above your knees, hook your thumbs again. Keep your knees bent, hook your thumbs, reach your arms up, draw your pelvis down and down. Maybe you can draw your pelvis down so closely that you come to the earth with ease. Place your feet together in this prayer pose. For some of us, we can come forward pretty easily. For others of us, if our feet are too close to the pelvis, that's hard to come forward. So take your feet out and customize it for you. If you can take your heart forward and come 
more forward on your sit bones. That's what we're after, to get a nice forward bend in this way. Now, lift yourself up, hook your thumbs, reach your arms up, see about getting as much length as possible as you draw forward. Inhale and rise up. Release your hands and extend your legs out nice and long. So with your feet nice and wide apart, with your toes spreading, for some of us being elevated just slightly on a blanket or a towel or even your blocks might be useful in this pose. But engage your legs by spreading your toes, hook your thumbs, reach your arms up, reach over to the left side first. Notice how the right sit bone gets really light when you do that. Root down to rise up, reach over to the opposite side, so your arms are engaged, your legs are engaged, you're enjoying this nice stretch to the side body. Inhale, rise up. Once again, this time turn the upper chest so that your heart faces toward your toes and reach your toes. Inhale. Rise up, come back through center to twist so that now you're facing your right toes. Reach, extend, inhale, rise up with the arms engaged, the fingers spreading, twist, turn toward your left foot Draw your fingers as if trying to reach them beyond the toes while keeping the right sit bone grounded. Inhale, rise up, twist, not too much, so that as you draw your gaze toward your right foot, your left inner thigh stays grounded as you draw down and reach your fingers forward. Inhale. Rise up, back to center, exhale, release your hands. Come to lie down on your back with your knees bent. And in the same way that we've been doing the whole practice, with your pelvis lifted, hook your thumbs, Bend your elbows, press your elbows into the mat as you try to draw the hands a little bit further away from each other, keeping a strong engagement in the arms. Press down through your left foot, but free your right leg and lift it to the sky. Slowly let it draw down almost parallel to the left thigh. Lift it up again, keep your left leg strong. Exhale, float it down just a wee bit. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, release your foot to the mat. Keep pulling your hands away from each other in that hooked position. But now change the hook so that whatever thumb was on top is now the bottom thumb. Inhale, lift your left foot up, pulse it down. Inhale, take it up, draw so that the thighs are parallel. Inhale, up, exhale, lower slightly. Part your left foot. Free your thumbs. Slowly release your pelvis down. 
with your feet together lift your pelvis up and scoot the pelvis slightly to the right take your arms out in this winged position t position with your palms facing up lift your feet up off the earth and just draw your knees over to the left side place your left hand just somewhere to the outer right leg but notice how the left leg kind of just takes it easy here. Can you lift up your left knee just slightly so that it's touching your inner right knee? Stay here. Enjoy your breath. Take your left hand away from the leg, reach it out to the side. Inhale, lift your knees up, park both feet to the mat, lift your pelvis up, take your pelvis slightly over to the left side, lift your feet up off the floor, draw your knees over to the right side, Take your right hand, if you wish, for just a little bit more guidance here in your twist to take your right hand to the outer left thigh. Lift your bottom knee up so that the inner knees are touching. Get this nice fullness in your breath. The softness in your facial muscles. Inhale, lift your knees up, free your right hand. Come back to the center position. Take your arms up and over your head and hook your thumbs again. Reach your hooked thumbs over to your right side. Straighten your legs. Reach your legs to your right side so you get this nice stretch to the side body. Shift back to the center position. Bend your knees. Hook your thumbs the opposite way. Take your hands over to your left side. Straighten your legs. Take your legs to your left side. Get this nice fullness to the side body. Release out of the pose. Bend your knees, plant your feet. Take your arms down so the palms are facing up. Lift your feet up off the earth and just move side to side, just as a way to give a nice massage to the glutes. So don't fold the knees in too much. Just allow your low back to free itself a little bit before coming to Shavasana. So extend your right leg and your left leg out. Have your palms open. Enjoy your breath. Take your gaze inward. Notice how the breath allows you to feel so expansive. You feel that expansiveness physically, and you can take that feeling of expansiveness with you 
when you move off the mat and into your day. Now ensure that your breath feels very natural and free. Soften your jaw and your facial muscles. With the arms fully supported by the earth, allow your shoulders to relax. As you continue a nice, even flow of the breath in through the nose, out through the nose. You take your gaze inward and just notice the expansion of your ribs. as the legs become more and more relaxed, the heaviness of the legs allows for more freedom in the pelvic floor. Breathe in deep and out long. Breathe in deep and out long. Breathe in deep and out long. Now very slowly bend your knees. Reach your arms up and over your head. Draw over to the right side. Use the strength of your arms to lift yourself up to come to a seated pose. time to honor yourself for giving yourself the time for this practice to these teachings that we receive in the practice to that knowledge of the self that we gain from the practice we bow namaste